first rider on our Tour de France selection is probably the most obvious one, and that's Rigoberto Uran, second place in the Tour de France last year, and um, and somebody that truly believes uh, he can win the race. And so we built this team around helping him fulfill that objective. The second guy is Pio Roland. Pio Roland is going to be the key uh, climbing domestique for Rigoberto in the Tour. Just finished up a great ninth place in the Dauphiné Libre, or actually I think eighth. Pierre's coming on to some of the best form he's had in a few years, and we expect him to be right there uh, with Rigo. Third guy is Danny Martinez. I would put him on par as uh, far as talent coming out of the young Colombian ranks with um, Egan Bernal. This will be his first Tour de France. I think Danny will be a key component in both the team time trial and the mountain stages. Fourth guy up is uh, Simon Clark. Simon's going to be our on-the-road captain. Great deal of experience, knows how to read races incredibly well, knows how to position his leader in front when it needs to happen. Also quite a handy climber and good at sneaking into breakaways, uh, so a very multi-purpose rider and a great, great leadership figure uh, on the road and, and at the dinner table. Fifth guy. Tom Scully, this will be his first Tour de France. He's going to be a powerhouse in the team time trial. He's also going to be great on the cobblestone stages and is an irreplaceable domestique just as far as getting you know, the, the lead rider in Rigo in key positions at key moments. Uh, he's done a great job with Setvin Marca doing just exactly that in the classics for the last couple of years, and so uh, it'll be fun having him do his first Tour de France leading us into Sepp and Marka. Sepp obviously on the team uh, to really help Rigo out in the cobblestone stage of the Tour de France. Uh, I don't think we could actually ask for a better rider to show Rigo uh, how to ride the cobbles and to, to stay with him over the stones. We really feel like uh, this is going to be a great opportunity for us to gain time on our rivals. Seventh slot, uh, Taylor Finney back for his second Tour de France. Taylor, incredible asset in the team time trial. Uh, and great on the cobblestone stages as well. So Taylor, for the first nine days of the race, will be one of our key riders in, uh, in keeping Rigo positioned well and in not losing any time whatsoever. And then finally, Lawson Craddock is back at the Tour de France. Lawson can kind of fit a couple of different roles. He can climb quite well in the medium mountain stages, and he's also been proving to be one of our better riders in the team time trial. Uh, so he's a very multifaceted rider that we can use in a lot of different uh, aspects, and it's great to have him back at the Tour.